Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 24 of Exoria, a mod pack by DaftQuest. Okay, so we've been trying to rush getting to Misty World, and I really thought that I was going to be able to do it in this episode, but to be honest, there's still a little bit of work to get done, and I think I need a big crafting episode today. I need to be able to complete a lot of things. So we're going to split that in three. We're first going to have a big crafting for quality of life machine, so a couple of quests that are going to make things easier. Then, a bit of progression toward the Misty World, and finish with big machinery. And then we'll go into a time lapse where we're going to rearrange a couple of things to set all of that up, so that the next episode we can concentrate on going to the Misty World without making this like a rush where everything's not really properly done because we're trying to go too fast. Okay, and... I'm reintroducing the list idea, so let's just look right here for my first list. And the first list, um, just give me one second, sorry. I, nope, wrong button, wrong button again. So let me talk about the first list. So the first thing I wanna do, and before the list, let's look at the quest, is a little bit of quality of life. So it means I wanna do powering the crucible, not because it's gonna help in any way, just because I wanna get rid of it. So powering the crucible. With passive power, I can keep the crucible now fueled constantly. No, you can't. This costs way too much power, but I'll show you. Then I want to get atomizing, the metal atomizer. Now that I have a decent power situation, I can use that power, for example, to crush metal into dust. I can use this construction for that. With the dust, I can now make alloys in the kiln. Because the thing with the kiln is every alloy needs to have dust. And using that little pulverizer there is way too slow. And finally, the last thing I want to do is the rock crusher, automated crushing. Now with power, I can automate crushing. And it might seem weird in the sense of why a rock crusher? We already have the metal atomizer. Well, the rock crusher doesn't do the same thing. It's technically misnamed because the rock crusher is basically a re replacement to the crushing table, which means we get our ground Arushi, we automate the glowstone, we automate the crushed magmarac, and... So what was the, and the metal atomizer is the same thing for ingots. So this one's for the other things that are not ingots, okay? So that's what we're going to do. So if I look right here, we're going to need an induction eater, a metal atomizer, and a rock crusher, which means in raw material, we're going to need 13 steel ingot, nine iron ingot, eight bronze ingot, eight electrum ingot, four lead ingot, three tin ingots, one copper ingot, nine redstone, two sticks, eight adobe, eight clay, one sand, two coal dust, and two sulfur. So let's go grab all of that. And oh, I also forgot to name that we also need some iron and copper nugget. So let's go grab everything that we just said. Uh, steel ingot should be, no, I have things here now. So seal, 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 right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, nine iron ingot. Oh, that's one too many, not a problem. I'm gonna keep it on me. Bronze, I think, is here. So, yes, eight bronze ingot, seven, eight, eight electrum ingot right here. Perfect. Now we need four lead ingot. We need three tin ingot. That's the thin tin. Yes, that's, that's the tin. Now we need a copper ingot. We need nine redstone. Nine redstone. Oh, hello, friend. Two sticks. And eight adobe and eight clay. So the adobe are in here, I believe. Oh no, I ended up placing them right here. So are those the adobe? No, that's the terracotta. That's the adobe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Then eight clay. Uh, clay, I still haven't placed in here, I think. Yeah, so I'll go get the clay after. I need one. Sand. Oh, let's go get it now. So one sand. And then we need eight clay. Eight clay is basically just two of these transformed into eight clay, like so. Perfect. And then we need, what else? We need two coal dust, two sulfur. Coal dust should be right here. Sulfur, oh, sulfur is here for sure. So one, two. Coal dust is, are these tiny pile that are just going to transform. It's gonna give me way too many, but it's not a problem. Better more than not enough. Two iron nuggets and one copper nugget. So two, oh. Two, and then I go and click the whole stack. So let's put that back. One, two, oh, one, two, and one. Perfect. So let's start crafting. 
stuff. So let's go with the induction heater first. So the induction heater requires a refectory casing, which means four iron plate. Oh, I forgot to make plates first. So you know what? Let's do the plate first because I'm going to need a couple of plate. I should have thought of that first. So first we need the eight iron plate. So we'll get the eight iron plates. So I'm going to keep two right there and go with this. And I'm just going to cross that until I get eight. Three, four, five, six seven, eight, and now we're going to switch to Electrum. And we need eight Electrum plate now. Then we need one copper plate and four lead plate. Whoa, one copper plate. So four of that and one of those. No, that's not what I want to do, okay. And four of those. Then we need two bronze uh, gear. Okay, so that's more of a problem. Let me go see here if I can use this. Yes, I can use this. Let's put the bronze in here and let's just push all of the iron in here. That's going to give me my eight iron. What's going on here? Oh no, <coughs> sorry, I'm still producing material. It's just that this melts so fast that I have no problem. So I need these eight bronze to melt. And while they're melting, I also need three tin plate and five refactory bricks. So let's get the uh, three tin plate right here. One, two, and three. Perfect. And now we need the five refactory brick. I don't remember what the refactory brick are again. So the refactory brick are not for that and they're not for the heating coil, they're for one of the next machines. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare the electron wire. So basically the reason we did eight electron plate is that we have to cut this into eight wire and we need the two sticks with the eight wire to make the, uh, sorry, electron wire to make these MV wire coil that we're going to transform into that electron coil block because we needed that for the four heating coil, which are made four per. So that's done. This I should be able to make. Yeah, just one, let's be careful. I might need the other one later, but for now, no. So that's the induction heater. So that's one of the item done. Powering the crucible. And it is really honestly 100% so sad that this is useless. This is really what I would have loved Oh, there's probably some nuggets in here. Yeah, of course. There's a lot of things I would have loved using that. Just not having to deal with charcoal. But alas, it, it is not to be. It's something that it doesn't really work well. It takes so much power that in my other playthrough where I have a lot more power, I still don't use it because it's not worth it compared to using this charcoal. It's just, it's just not. There's no real justification to it. And if I'm honest... I think that uh, the balance of it was done wrong. It, it should have been something that you power up with one of these windmill. Maybe there's a bug with it and the guy can't figure it out. I don't know. All I know is that it's not working. Perfect. So next one is going to be the metal atomizer. So yeah, that's where we needed the second refractory casing. And now with that, we need the two bronze ingot. We need a refractory opera. Oh, that's, that's what I forgot to make. I forgot to make that. So I'm gonna to have to cook those. Unfortunately, I completely forgot about that. So four here, four here. And the reason I do that is that it's going to go fast. What else do I need for this machine? Is there anything else? I have my bucket already. Oh no, that's why I need the three tin plate is to make a bucket, perfect. So now I'm only really just missing this uh, hopper, which I'm going to wait for because we're so close. It's not going to take a long while. Um, Perfect. So. I know it's been a while in this episode, but it's holiday time and in December, it's almost impossible for me to have weekends to do the uh, the Twitch. I want to go back to doing it, but unfortunately, it's just reality happens and it cannot be my main goal. Okay, so now that this is done, we now have an atomizer. Now we just need the rock crusher, which we should be able to do quickly. Rock crusher. And I might have a problem with the rock crusher, I think. I think that the problem I'm going to have, okay, so first a small battery, no, first click here, perfect. Now, first I need the small battery, like so, and then I need the advanced power, like so, 
And finally, what was a crushing table again? Crushing table was three wood, four wood, and three hardened stone. Do I have any hardened stone? Because I have one here, but I don't want to use that one if I don't have to. It's one of those things I would prefer keeping it if I can. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, 8, 16, 24, like I didn't, I didn't count that in my material because I was expecting to use that one, but right now I'm not 100% sure that I can't still do, um, and I can still craft, uh, crush plates. I'm going to have a machine for that, but I don't know if I'm going to get to it right now. So I just want to make sure that I'm able to have both at the same time. So four planks like this, and it's not a very expensive, huh? Oh, a, a regular big wood right here. Sorry, that shouldn't take long. Et voila, et voila, a rock crusher. So that is the quality of life improvement that I wanted to make. Powering the crucible, atomizing, and the rock crusher. Useful gadget I'm not going to get into right now. Second part of crafting is this. So another power source. I discover even another power source. I wonder what I can do with it. Unfortunately, it is not compatible with the other power source. Of course not. Of course it isn't, unfortunately. This is, like, this is just a weird, weird way of doing things that we have no control over. But like you say, it is what it is and we have to live with it. So the reason I still had all of these material on me is that we already have some in the largest large chest here. And I should probably have checked that before grabbing other material from other place. So I'm going to put this right here, and for now, these three machine, uh, you know what, I'm just going to put some more chests down because I want to have a freer inventory, and I'm just going to put these right here, and keep the rest, wow, wow, come on, and keep the rest on me for now. Don't need the pulverized coal, this I can put right here, and this right here. Okay, so let's go for the second list. Let me just for find my second list. So for the second list, right here, oh, sorry, right now. So I want to craft six sterling engine. Yes, six. I don't need six, but it's going to make it easier. Six wooden kinesis pipe because I need one per sterling engine. That's what extracts power. One cobblestone kinesis pipe. That's for a quest. Six laser, again, because having six laser makes things easier. One assembly table, one advanced crafting table. To be able to do that, the base material we're going to need is as follow. 118 cobblestone, 12 iron ingots, 6 copper ingots, 12 ardite ingot, 46 redstones, 20 obsidian, 2 ardite block, 10 wood plank, 6 wood pipe, 1 cobblestone pipe, and 7 sealant. So the pipes, I didn't give it as material because I think that I have all of the pipe that I need here. And I don't need to craft them, so I didn't see the point. Uh, wooden transport pipe. See, I have 12. I only need 6. Let's put that. And cobblestone transport pipe. I have one right here. I don't need any pipe sealant. I don't know why I grabbed that. So that's the first part that we need. Then we need... Let's grab everything that we need. We need 118 cobblestone. So I'm just going to grab two stacks. That's going to make things easier than counting forever. I'm going to put back whatever I don't use. For redstone, I'm just going to grab a stack because it's 49, but again, it's easier to grab a stack and put back what we don't need. Then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to see, do I have any iron ingot in here? Nope. Do I have any copper ingot? Yeah. So let's grab six copper ingot right from here. Six and, oh wow, I have so many light lead plate. The, the reason I need 12 iron ingot is I need 12 plates. So I'm going to grab the eight plate right here. And I'm going to grab four more iron ingot right now. And I'm just going to make them into plate immediately. So that's going to be done already. So 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. <laughs> then we need the 12 ardite stone. Now, what do I do with my ardite? Is it in that chest right here? No. I know that I made the ardite. I prepared all of that before. Is it possible that I place it in here? No, I did place it in here. Oh, Hi. so I need 12 Ardite ingots right here. Oh, that's one too many. And then I need two blocks of Cobalt, uh, two blocks of Ardite, sorry. Uh, 
Ooh, so my list is... Cr I'm going to correct my list so you guys have seen the right thing, but it was two Cobalt block I needed, not two Ardite block. Now I need 20 Obsidian, which is... Is it right there? No, that's the Orn Blende. Obsidian right here. See, Obsidian, I have 16. Oh, I don't want 60. I just want 12. Um, 20. So let's grab the 20 right here. Then what else do we need? We need... The 10 wood plank, that's easy, it's right here. We need six wood pipe, we have one cobblestone pipe, we have and seven sealant. So the seven sealant is me being really weird. It's not sealant that I need because what I need is to make them into power pipes. So do you see how this is a wooden transport pipe? If I put a sealant right here, it becomes a liquid pipe. What I meant to write in my list is that I wanna make them into wooden kinesis pipe. So I'm gonna put seven right here. Because I'm going to make these six, and then I'm going to put one cobblestone right here and make this one. Perfect. So those are what we need for the Knessis. Wooden Knessis, cobblestone. Now we need the Sterling engine. And like I said, the Sterling engine, I want to make six. So Sterling engine. That's why I need all of the cobblestone. For six, I need how many gear? I need 18 stone gear. So let's just click until I get 18, like so. And now I can, I should be, oh no, I need the iron mechanical component. I okay, completely forgot that. So that's where I need the copper and the plate. So the uh, iron mechanical component, we need six. So I'm going to go uh, one, two, was it like this. Yes. So six iron mechanical component. Perfect. Now that we have that, we should be able to make the sterling engine. And that's six sterling engine. With that, we're going to need six. Um, Lever. I didn't count the lever because I know I have some somewhere. I've I found levers like two times. So let me just see where did I put all of my stupid lever. I knew I had a pile of them somewhere. Just can't seem to find them right now. And if not, well, it's another six stick and six copper. So it's not like uh, not copper. Six stick and six uh, cobblestone. So it's not like it's very expensive to make. You know what? It is so inexpensive to make. Let's. Stop wasting time and let's just make them so six and six so that's six lever and I'm gonna take these 14 and put these 14 back because I don't need them perfect so that completes that quest now we get to the next quest I'm a firing my laser this new power source has some interesting capabilities I found a way to create lasers which allow me to create chipsets and faster auto crafting I need some rare materials from the deepest depth of this planet though I need a proper laser room for this setup as well. Uh, derp! Derpy derp derp derp. So basically, I melt all of these, and because the quest wasn't unlocked, it's not detecting them this time. Okay, so we're just going to have to quickly run to the Exoria core, and I need to find one of each. This is kind of unfortunate and a bit of a time waster, but... It wouldn't be an Excedra episode without an Excedra derp, wouldn't it? So now I'm going to have to go and derp that out of the way. So, you know what? Oh, like, please don't kill me. I love when they stay in a position where they can't do anything to me. Ooh, that is super good. I'm re you know what? I'm really happy that we had to come here then. Why? Because I finally got an ability totem. Oh, Night Vision 1. Really? Okay, so I got a useless ability totem, but uh, that was part of the thing that uh, one of the mechanism of this game that they want us to get totem to be able to get some magical power. Fortunately, this one is a useless one. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to use the stone hammer and the stone excavator. And I'm just going to try and dig here going forward, see if I can find anything quickly. Let's just go straight here. And try to see. I just need one Ardite and one Cobalt. Oh, there's another path right here. Let's just see. Down here. I honestly just don't know where to check right now. Ooh, this is easy. Okay, so that was a good decision because this is really easy. So that's one Cobalt Ore. I'm going to grab the second one just because... It's always good to have more than not enough. And I'm going to grab these two things just because I like cleaning things up. 
And oh, wow, another one right here. So I knew that I found a lot around here, which is why I wanted to come around here. I thought it might be an easier... No, come on! Oh, this is annoying. I completely... Oh, I want to keep the magma rack. You always want to keep the magma rack because the magma rack is the one thing that makes it easier for you to... Um, to make redstone. Oh, and I broke a stupid torch that now I need to reel it somewhere and place back down. Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to salvage this. I'm trying to come back here so I can close this. Oh, and here's my hard height. Okay, so that's going to be good. Let me put a desiccated stone right here. Oh, I don't like sound. And let's grab this hard height right there. No, that's burnium ore. That's not ardite. Uh, okay, so still not the right place. I have a feeling that this is where I'm going to find some, and the reason is that it that's where I easily found the rest. So I'm hoping things are going to be good, and I'm going to find everything I need now. Let's break down this way, and this takes forever to break. Come on, give me one Ardite. That's all I ask for. Nope, I guess not. I, I, there's more Cobalt here, but that's not what I want. Let's break this right here. I'm going to grab that one. Oh, I'm at Bedrock level. Cool, I didn't know that. So that might make it a little harder to find what I wanted then. Let's just go down this way. Hopefully we're going to find what we need soon. I really like all of this time is all wasted time because if I had kept one of each instead of melting them all because now I have way more melted than I really need, we wouldn't be wasting this time right now. But it was just a poor organization on my part. And I'm also afraid of the dark. So nope, no such luck this way. This is annoying. There's so much stuff that can uh, transform into um, magma. Oh, that could have also been bad. Uh, so, nope, nothing here. It's just, like I said, I don't want to break any of these magma blocks because these magma blocks are scary. Nope. Let's go. Really more... Wow. Wow. So, Cobalt is the one thing that I can find a lot of and easily. <gasps> oh, please stop burning. Okay. Please stop burning, I said. What is this right here? Burnium ore. Okay. Not taking any chance. Oh. So, that was me panicking and trying to go back home because I'm like, oh, there's one right here. Okay. Let's grab the Ardite right here. So I'm going to grab both, because if I'm here, might as well grab both. But then we're going to head back home immediately. Don't need any basalt ever. And quest firing my laser is done. Home, 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 sweet home. I'm happy to be back home. And like I said, we grab those only to be able to forward the quest. Forward, like uh, make the quest go forward. So now we're dealing with server lag. I just want to get rid of things. Oh, I'm just going to try and dump everything I can in here. Do I have anything left on me? Yeah, I have this magma block, which goes right here. I have these magma rack, which goes right there. And that's good because that's redstone. Remember, magma rack equals redstone. So it's always good getting more magma rack. Okay, so now that I have this, I'm going to get rid of everything else. So I don't need this. I don't need this. Tiny pile, burnium, cobalt, ore, archaic brick, ability, totem, all things that I don't need right now. And we are back on track. Perfect. So the next thing, let's just look at the quest, but I know already what the next thing is. The next thing is the five laser. I want six. An assembly table and an advanced crafting table. So lasers. Lasers. Right here, we're going to make six of those. 
not 10, 6, let's be careful. Then we're going to make an assembly table. Assembly table. I love the mechanic of this. Like, it's not the best thing ever, but I, I just kind of like the mechanic. It's kind of a cool, different way of crafting things. So let's get that, an assembly table, and an advanced crafting table. Advanced crafting table right here which means I need a crafting station, which is why I needed all of the wood. One, two, two like this, and I need two sticks. So two sticks were not part of the list, but sometimes things that are so easy to craft, I don't really care and I just move forward with it. And an advanced crafting table. So that's the second part of the quest. And of course, there is a third part to this quest, laboratory block. We need 64 of those. And, and now that I think of it, I didn't put anything for the laboratory block. So laboratory block. What we need for the laboratory block is stone and quartz, and that's not part of my list. So if you look at this here, you make eight and you need 60 easier, uh, no, 64. So eight times one equals 64. Well, it's another eight. So I need eight quartz crystal, but at least that's something I have. Oh, I'm being dumb. This is something I have, but back here, let me just check. Yeah. I just want to make sure that this this is not stopping and what about this and this this is stopped but there's not a lot of sand in it so now I'm gonna to have to come back to put some sand in it let's just come back here and grab a two stacks of sand put that back in there just trying to do too many operations at a time but that is how I do things this is how I roll I'm trying to keep everything going at the same time and now we need stone, and I'm pretty sure I have enough stone here. So, stone, one stack, perfect. So, one stack like this with eight quartz that I have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, cra uh, eight quartz. Perfect. So, that is one quest completed. Done. Next quest is metal press. So, now we're going into the third crafting session that I was talking about. The third crafting session is Big Machine. Here it wants us to craft a metal press. I found a new way to make plate and gears, pressing ingot with power. So instead of having to melt the bronze, I could have used the metal press. Instead of using this to make plate, I could use the metal press. So that's going to save me some time. And then the next one that I already know is here is going to be another machine. And it's going to be an automated crafting machine. So for that third session, I'm going to need a couple more things. So let me come right here and show you my next list. I'm just going to make sure that it's properly on the screen right now. So we're going to need three redstone engineering blocks, four light engineering blocks, three heavy engineering blocks, seven steel scaffolding, six conveyor belt, one piston, and two treated wood slot. As for material, we need 25 steel ingot, 28 iron ingot, 20 tin ingot, 14 copper ingot, 2 electron ingot, 15 redstone, 25 cobblestone, 12 wood plank, 3 treated wood plank, 6 conveyor, and 6 rubber. So I say 6 conveyor and 6 rubber because we made these conveyor and we don't really have any use for them, so we've not been using them, which means that now I can just... Ah, oh, the block of cobalt. See, same thing. I took them, but they're in here, so now I can push them back in here because I don't need them. Sorry. So what I was saying is the conveyor... We made those and we never transformed those. So what we really need is six rubber to transform these six into the six type of conveyor belt that we want. Do I have any rubber left though? I don't think. Oh yeah, right here. Perfect. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm already going to transform these immediately. Like this. Are there shape crafting? Yeah. So this is the... Six plus one, so seven conveyor belt that we need. We need, let's grab the ingot that we have here. So 10 ingot wise, we needed uh, 20 tin, tin ingot. Okay, the reason we need a 20 tin ingot is that we need, uh, we need five tin gear. So one, two, three, four, five. So five times four is 20. That's all the tin that we needed. We need 20 iron plate. We used all of the iron plate last time and we have no iron here, so let's grab 20 iron ingot right now we need 28 so i need eight more 
perfect. Then the steel, we need 25 steel. I don't like not having them where I can see the count. So let's just do that. That's going to be 25. Now we need 14 copper ingot. I'm just going to use those that are here. And do I need these to make into plate? No, I don't need those. I don't think I need those to be made into plate. So I need 14 copper ingot right here. I need two electrum ingot. Let's get rid of this. Then we need 15 redstone. So 15 redstone. Then we need the 25 cobblestone. Let's just grab a stack. Easier that way. Now we need 12 treated wooden plank. We should have that. I'm pretty sure that... Oh no, sorry. 12 wood plank. So 12 standard wood planks. And 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we need three treated wood plank. One, two, three. Perfect. Then we need, what else? Six conveyors, six rubber. Perfect. We have all that. So let's get crafting. So engineering block. Like we said, we need... Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. I, I kind of skipped a step always. I, I always do that. So let's go downstairs right here. And the reason I want to go downstairs right here is that... This is where I want to put my next <laughs> wrong tool. This is where I want to put my next setup. So I just want to go like this and how deep do I need to go? I want the wall to work with the outside wall. So one, two, three, then wall. So one, two, three, then wall. Perfect. What's down here? Okay, so that's where the wall would be. It's just I never put any cobblestone there. So let's do that right now. And go cobblestone like this. Now let's go down this way. I should probably get some torches. Although, no, okay. So this is lit enough that I'm okay for now. So let's just do this that way. This a little bit this way. Like so, this is going to be my next room. And this is going to be the wall. So let me just rearrange this in a better way. You know what? K, K, and K. This is all transforming. Perfect. Now let's just finish opening that. And placing down some cobblestone. I don't really want to waste any time with that. I'm just doing a quick setup job so that I don't have like a bad setup and how high do i want this to be i want this to be one two three four five six seven seven so that's one two three one two three four oh four five six wow this is a bit deeper than i thought it was going to go but okay so that's going to be seven um, no, I'm still not at seven. I still need to go one more. Uh, no, I need to go two more deep. Why two more deep? Because I also want to put a floor. So let's do this and that. And this right here. That right there. And we're going to be able to put the floor down. And this is going to be the floor. Like so, I'm just trying to do it as fast as possible so I don't waste too much time. And I'm going to rearrange and beautify all that. And I'm going to put an elevator to go down. I don't want to have any issue. I, like, I don't want to have to go down some stairs up and down all the time. Let me just grab all of that. Again. That. I'm just trying to grab everything that I can. And now I can put my wall. So I wanted the laboratory brick block to be the wall here and they look very weird they're going to make column whoa i guess this is too dark so we're going to have to arrange it to make it a bit safer but the downstairs area i want to make the wall white just so that it's more lighted i don't want it to be too dark let's do this and it's going to look like there are columns holding the floor down, uh, holding the roof down. Break that and that to put the last one. Perfect. And that's a lot of laboratory block. I didn't think I was going to uh, have space for so many. And the last nine. One, two, three, and nope, I need three more. I'm going to break this. 
to put the next one but this is no okay so this is not the floor so we're still good and the last one i'm just going to put here perfect so now we're ready to do some uh, some setup okay the setup is a uh, you know what i'm not going to take any chance let's go back upstairs let's get rid of the ash and let's just grab some uh, some torches because there's really no point whatsoever in us taking a chance with the group we're doing really well we're progressing really well and we have torches right here so what's the point of taking any chance let's put one right here one two three four five and now let's just open up a bit this way don't want to break this stair, so i'm just going to go like this we just need to open it up a bit more because the laser setup is kind of awkward perfect i'm i'm happy with that so let's start the setup so i have what i believe to be the best setup for um i believe this is the best setup for the laser right now so first i'm going to want the lasers to be i need some place behind that's not even deep enough oh boy let me go grab some more material upstairs uh, by material sorry i mean a tool i just want another stone excavator right here and i'm going to get rid of the cobblestone i'll grab it back later and let's go down back here so that we can continue digging i'm gonna grab that manually so right here right down this way let's put a torch for the group don't want any group problem this and this right here so this should be plenty enough to deal with what we need to set up now perfect let's just break all of this and we can start our setup okay so the laser the laser has a very poor range in this like i remember playing other mod pack with the laser and the range was way better than it is right now i don't know why it is that low i didn't know it was a configuration but apparently it is which makes a lot of things a lot more complicated so first of all when we have the laser we need to power it i have six laser and six sterling engine because i really want to make it so that it's it's one for one so first off, I'm going to put these three things down right here. And no, I didn't put them in the right place because I need to have access behind. So I'm going, how many blocks do I need? I need one right here. Perfect. So that's where I'm going to put my lasers. Oh, I want to put them on the side. Let me just grab the wood this way and that way. Perfect. So I can put three laser like this and hmm don't like the setup sorry give me more one more moment i know i'm being difficult right now but i want this to i want this for the long term so i'm going to make the setup a bit nicer because we're going to be using this for a lot of things like this perfect so now i don't need these block anymore perfect so this is it. Now I can go one away. So the table has to be here. So you do this, and this is where the uh, assembly table needs to be. Perfect. So this is one block away, and we'll be able to uh, power it. Now, same thing, one block away. So one block away. So this is where the three are going to be, like so. So now let's put these three lasers right here. One, two, three, which is one away also, which means I can't go to the corner. Uh, you know what? I'm going to just put them on the other side. I'm derping. I just, this is not the setup I had made, but I'm going to make the a different setup, which is just taking me a bit longer, but it's worth it because it's going to make access easier. So I'm going to put some on each side. So right here. So this one's going to go right there like so. Then I can go wood plank, wood plank, and put the other two like this. Perfect. Now I'm going to remove all of that because behind this, I need to put the uh, engine and a block for power. So what we're going to do is put the power block directly on the laser. So wooden kinesis pipe like this. And I'm going to put the sterling engine right under like this. So one, two, 
and three, right as if they were on the floor. And I'm gonna put three floor blocks right here because I need to be able to put my uh, levers. So now let's put the lever. Perfect. Gonna turn those, those on, going to do the same thing for the other side. So one, two, and three, two, and three. And let's go and put those on the floor, turn those all on. Perfect, so now we need some coal for those sterling engine. Uh, is it coal or charcoal? I never remember. Let me just take a quick look. Can I put charcoal, please? Yes. Okay, so let's go back up. And that's going to be one, two, three. Oh, that's all the charcoal I had here. Three, four. Nope, that's it. I'm going to need to grab from my master cache of charcoal back here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So that's going to be plenty enough to cover everything that we have down here. Ouch. So let's go down here, power this, and here, and power this. And when these are full of blue, it means they're full of power. And I can come back here and power this, this, and this. Perfect. Now that all of this is power, we can finally use the assembly table. So we're going to need, how many are we going to need? We're going to need three redstone chipsets. So one, two, three, and let's say redstone chipset. And now look at this. All of these can touch the assembly table. So that's why I said this is the perfect setup. I can even add three more here and three more on the other side if I want to. And I have an idea of putting them in the floor at some point maybe, but it's just not right now when it doesn't matter. Like this way, I can start making the chipset. The only problem with making the chipset is I think that they eject outside. I want to try something. I think that if you put a chest next to it, it's going to output to a chest, but I'm not sure. And if it doesn't output to the chest, I'm going to have to stay here next to it because I don't want to lose any. So let's do this like that. And let's see if the first one output to the chest. It's almost done. These takes a while to uh, make, by the way. They're not super rapid. That's why I wanted six laser. In, in an ideal world, I'd want 12 laser, but I knew that I wouldn't have enough charcoal and I knew that I wouldn't have enough ardite and everything. Uh, not ardite, uh, yeah, ardite. So it was really no point. So that's going to be one. And please tell me you go in the chest. Yes, perfect. So no worry, I can come back to that later. And those, I'm gonna have to have those being making more all the time. So while we're waiting, we're going to get working on other stuff. So steel scaffolding. Steel scaffolding is a bit complicated because we need the steel rod. And the steel rod, if I had the metal press, I could make them that way. But since I have to make them this way, I need to melt two steel to get four rod. I only need three rod, but um, do I need only three rod? It's six per and we need seven. No, so I need uh, three, six rod. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six two, three, four, five, six. So three ingots. So let's come in here. And this, I don't want iron gear. I want iron. And let's put six steel in here. Oh no, three, because three is going to give me two. It's two per the rod, right? Perfect. So I'll come back to that. So this has to melt. While this is melting, we also need the iron plate that I was talking about. So let's keep we need 20 iron plate. I'm going to need more than that hammer. Oh boy, I always need some of these hammer. Do I have another one ready? Yeah, I do have another one ready. Let's come here and pretty soon we won't have to hammer a plate ever again. That's going to be a good time. Let's just get that done quickly. I'm getting a bit over time, but it doesn't matter. I really need to get this done. And it's not as if you guys have never seen a long episode coming from me. So let's just get all of these iron plate. I need 20 of those. 16, 17, 18, 19. This is 20, perfect. And I need these because I need four iron mechanical component. So one, two, three, four, perfect. And now I need some steel plate. I need four steel plate. Let's go back here. That's one. Two, three, four. Oh, did I just make a mistake? I need steel, oh no, okay, two light steel plate. 
So let's put four steel plate in here and two copper and we need two mechanical, uh, steel mechanical, oh, it's four steel mechanical component. So I need more steel plates, sorry. I was looking at the wrong list. I need one, two, three, four more. Let's go back here and then we're going to make the last two steel mechanical components that I need, four, one, two. Grab all of this, perfect. And the, I need five piston. So five piston are made from tin gear. Where's the recipe for piston? Maybe I should just have searched for it. Let's just search for it. I'm lazy. Piston, piston, piston. Ooh, lever. Completely forgot that it was lever. One, two, three, four, five. Grab all of this back. So now I need five lever. So one, two, three, four, five. Now I should be able to make the five piston. Oh, wood slab. Where's my copper saw? I need a copper saw right here. So now I need for five, five, 15. So 15, I need to cut eight. Perfect, that's 16, but that's it, they work in pair. So that's all I can do. Now I should be able to make my five pistons. Five piston, perfect. And now that I have these piston, I can go back to the engineering engineering perfect uh, let's go get my chipset downstairs hopefully they're ready yes three chipset perfect let's go back upstairs so i should probably start making more chipset it's just not a rush for me right now i just want to rush the crafting so that we can get things done oh this is annoying it just always change which one fits in there which i really dislike so liquid steel can't push it in here because there's probably some nuggets, which is fine. We'll just get rid of, and now we should be able to make the six steel rod. Three, four, five, six. Perfect. Which means we should now be able to make the steel scaffolding that we need. One, two, one, two, one. The rest, and where's my other steel? Perfect. So that's 12 scaffolding. Now let's go back. Redstone engineering block. I said we needed three of these. One, two, three. That's why we needed the three chipset. We need some light engineering block. We need four and those are two per. So here's four. And we need some heavy engineering block. We need three of those. That's two per. So I need to make four. Probably going to need the extra one at some point somewhere, but now should be good. So four light, three redstone, three heavy, well, four, seven steel scaffolding, 12. Then uh, six conveyor belt, seven right here, one piston, I still have one piston right here, and two treated wood slab, I have three right here. So this is all that we need. So the metal press is now completed, which gives us a projector, sorry, a projectors and an engineering, engineering blueprint. Why do we need the engineering blueprint? Well, let me show you. It's another one for those right here. So now if I replace this one, with this one, I can now make all of the plate. So this is the metal press one. This is the metal, uh, the gear one, sorry, this is the plate, the gear, the rod, the bullet casing for the weapon that we crafted, the wire that makes two per instead of one. And then we have two packaging, three by three packaging and on packaging. So these are for the automatical, automatic crafter because now if I leave here, the next one is automated component. And it wants us, oh, I need two wood, wood, treated, uh, treated wood slab. Let me just grab a saw right here. And now I can do this and this. Oh, no, sorry. So the wood, uh, treated wood slab are still crafted the same way. That's why I needed three for two. So you go like this and you get six, which is more than we need, but it doesn't matter. That's what we want to do. So. Crafting the components in the workbench will get tedious soon. I need to automate that process with an automated workbench. So basically the automated workbench is going to let us craft these circuits. So if I go to circuit like this, this circuit right here, see how in, in an engineer's workbench, I can craft it with a copper plate, two vacuum tube or, and that. Well, I'm going to be able to automate this process. And these vacuum tubes, same thing needs to be made in the engineer workbench. We're going to be able to automate that. So we have everything for those two machine. I'm going to come down here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
not have access to this. I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to put 12 more redstone so I get more engineering uh, chipset. And I'm going to go into a time lapse because now I cannot build these machines. I don't even have the place for it. So I'm going to go into a quick time lapse. And my quick time lapse is going to be two part. First of all, I'm going to make a hole right here. And I'm going to use this hole to bring power downstairs because my big machinery I'm going to put downstairs and I'm going to extend under this way just till the wall. I'm going to start expanding downstairs to put my setup, my machinery downstairs. And I'm going to make another elevator to go down because I want to be able to go up, down and down another level. Just do my three level this way. So that's how I'm going to bring power downstairs. I'm also going to maybe remove that one and bring it downstairs so that we have a battery downstairs. But one of the reasons I want to make it go down this way is that I also... I'm also thinking about putting a couple of machinery here. I'm not sure yet, I haven't decided, but that's what I need to prepare. Because next episode, the going to Exoria is down here. I know because of other things that I've done, my other playthrough. So I'm gonna to need to progress down this way. So that's what we're going to do next episode. Next episode, we're going to set down the machine, the big machines that we created. We're gonna get into more circuitry, into the new heart of crafting, and we're going to create the portal to Exoria. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing for today. I'm just going to come down here and end on my laser because this is amazing. And this is like a big start. And like I told you, I'm going to craft a way of getting down here and I'm going to empty up this room. So th that's my plan for now. I'm going to try to keep the episode under an hour and 10 minutes. But I'm really excited we restarted this and I'm going to try to alternate an episode of each. My plan for the holiday is to try to plan push an episode every two days. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!